Luke <clears throat> chapter 4. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. And this, Matthew speaks about this in Matthew 4. Mark, very briefly, Mark 1. Being forty days tempted of the devil, <clears throat> and in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And that just takes what fast means from Matthew. The devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, that's funny because Satan knows who he is, command this stone that it may be made bread. Now you got to be careful of Satan. He knows where your weakness is, and the weakness of God, Jesus Christ, being in the flesh is he's hungry. Now, we don't know if this is the first time that Jesus ever hungered. But he's hungry. The Bible records and Satan comes up. Hey, why don't you get a little bread? You're, you're God. You can do it. Remember what you did? Let there be plants. And there was. Let there be some bread. Turn these rocks into bread. Is it funny? Jesus said, I am the bread of life. This is the attack of the lust of the flesh. Feed yourself. The attack of weakness. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written. So Jesus attacks Satan with the word that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So life is in the word. Don't tell me you're living if you don't read your Bible. Because then you just contradicted what Jesus told Satan. And the devil take him up into a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Now here's the lust of the eyes. Doesn't it look good? And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, God delivered this world into Satan. And Jesus never rebukes his verse. And to whomsoever I will, I give it. Be careful with politics. Now I'm not saying everybody in politics is Satan, but look, who, look who's in charge of politics. Look who's in charge of world authority. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. In a moment of time, he said. There are people who are in power because they fall down and worship it. Satan. It's right there. What is the one of the things that that is the foundation of politicalness in America? Isn't it that the fact that they're liars? And John 8 44 and Jesus answered said unto him Satan you knows how Jesus who is God is giving Satan I just, I just Satan get out of here I'm God just get out of here and leave me alone yep the Bible says Jesus had to learn obedience he couldn't use his full God power if I can say it like that in the flesh so this would answer the question of the Jehovah would well how come Jesus said God knows and he don't know because he's in the flesh Jesus told his disciples one time I could call down a certain amount of legions of angels and destroy everything don't you think he could have thrown Satan into hell right now but it's not time and you know what Satan's doing with some of these pleads isn't Jesus gonna get all the world well Satan says do it now it's not time and a lot of men who fall into the ministry, they go to school and all that, and they go out and do something. Yeah, it works. But did God set that time to be happy? Or did Satan? Satan will get you to do something too early. Satan will get you to do something too late. And he's telling Jesus right now, I'll give you all this power too early. That power comes at the second advent. Jesus has got to die on the cross for our sins. 
Satan is trying to eliminate Calvary. You fall down and worship me, I'll give it to you all right now. And let's void a Calvary. That's what Satan's saying. We don't need to do this Calvary thing. Because if you don't do this Calvary thing, everybody who dies will go to hell. I would love to have that happen. If thou wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me. Get behind me, Satan. I believe that's what he says to Peter, too. I believe it's that word. Satan. For it is written. You're not going to get Lucifer with a, with a water gun in hell, preacher. you got to preach the word, and you can't do it if you don't have the proper word. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Ooh, be careful on those grounds. You worship anything but God, you're on the bounds of Satan. Better find out who God is. And, and he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle, and that's a kind of tower kind of thing of the temple. And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from thence. Here's a part of life. Your God? Okay. Jump off this this pinnacle. Jump off this high spot. And God will send his angels to protect you. Come on, you're God. Let's see a miracle. Come on, Jesus, let's do it. Now do you see where the realm of the Pharisees are now? Come on, let's see you do something, Jesus. Let's get you to do something prior to the life. Prove your God. And this verse right here shows you where the, where the Pharisees and the Sadducees go. Come on, show us a sign from heaven if you're really. And match it here with Satan. If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written. Look at this. Satan's now going to quote scripture. You've been doing it, Jesus? I know So don't think that that guy quoting scripture in the pulpit is all God. You know when the men of the Bible wrote the Bible, you know that the Holy Spirit was in the fingers of the pen and the and Satan was looking over the shoulder. Satan knows this book just as much as better as I know this book. So Satan said, it is written. Satan says, he had to get up in the pulpit of America. Thus says Satan. He's going to quote from the Satanic Bible. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, he's going to quote from the Bible. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And that's properly right. Psalm 9111. And notice the law is being preached by Jesus and Psalms is being preached by Satan. Do you know who the song leader was? Satan. Oh, got to be careful with your music. He shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee. Can you imagine Satan doing that? And in their hands they shall bear thee up. That's Satan. That was his job. He's got all the instruments attached to him. Remember? Ezekiel 28. Is that what he looked like here? I have no idea. But it's just Jesus and Satan. No one else around. Least at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. He, he you ever picture Jesus doing that in the middle of the night, getting up to go to the bathroom or something, and kicking his foot against the furniture? Did he ever have that big toe sore in the middle of the night? Satan said, Well, God's going to protect you from doing that by his angels. Seems to me that maybe Jesus did have those moments. And Satan said, Listen, I'll take care of you. I'll make sure you won't hurt yourself. After all, you won't, you would not want to go to Calvary. You're going to be in pain. And Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said, okay, this, they're having a Bible conference here on this mountain. Scripture is being sought back and forth. <clears throat> Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Uh oh. Did you read that? There's a great verse for you to read to a Jehovah Witness. Who did Jesus just say? Who's been being tempted? Yeah. 
And what do you say? Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Right out of Deuteronomy 6.16. Jesus just said to Satan, I am God. And Satan did not rebuke that statement. Satan, Satan did not say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That's, you're not God. Hold on. I know who God is. He created me. He's in heaven right now. You're just the son. You're just a great prophet. No, Satan never did that. That's a remarkable statement by Jesus to Satan. I am God. You better not tempt me. And watch what happens. Watch the rebuke of Satan when Jesus says this. When the devil had ended all the temptation, he got out of there. When Jesus proclaimed, I am God, okay, I'm done. But I ain't finished with you. But I'm done. At that statement, falsified by the Jehovah Witnesses, the devil said, I'm getting out of here. And still, Jesus did not get victory over Satan that afternoon. It took blood, sweat, and tears, if you, if you forgive me that, that thing, to defeat Satan. It took the empty tomb to de defeat Satan. And yet still, how many years have we got the Satan still ruling? And I'm saying that because I've seen preachers and heard preachers and sat under preachers that old oh, smutty face. They're going to go in there with their water gun. No. You haven't read your Bible. The devil had ended all the temptation. He departed from him for a season. Satan is saying, okay, I'm done with you. I'll see you in eternity. No, I'll be back for a season. How sh short are the seasons in the world? Three months? Three, four months. So Satan, we are told by the Holy Spirit that Satan did not get off Jesus' back. We'll see in this chapter. This is a remarkable chapter to read and study. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, which would, I would assume that the Spirit brought him back, a reverse kind of rapture thing. And there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about, and he taught in their, their synagogue, not his. Did you get that? Being glorified of them. God, who is Jesus, did not recognize those synagogues. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Oh, there's where Jesus was brought up. His whole time. And as he as the, his custom was, he went in the Sabbath on the sap on the sap he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And it was delivered unto him. Delivered to him. He didn't pick it. The book of the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Here's the Holy Spirit working. And when he had opened the book, which would have been a scroll, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Look at verse 1. Because he has anointed me, Christ, to preach the gospel, good news, to the poor. He's right there doing it right now. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He's doing it right now. And to preach deliverance to the captives. He's doing that right now. Re recovering of the sight to the blind. He's doing it right now. To set liberty them that are bruised. He's doing it right now. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. He's doing that right now. Have you checked out that passage in Isaiah? It's not done. He gets to that point, closes the book, he says, okay. But he's not done. What he did not finish reading has not been performed yet. It will be at the second advent in Lord Jesus Christ. He gives the book up, closes it up, says, okay. Here it is. I ain't done yet, but here it is. He just preached to him what uh, Isaiah 61. What I'm going to do now. He closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. All he did was read. And he began to say, now he's speaking. 
unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. Isaiah 61 1. Close the book at that point. The rest of it will be fulfilled later. And all bear him witness. He's got everybody in the congregation that heard him. He's got witnesses. And wondered at the gracious words <clears throat> which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? No. It's not. We had that argument when he was 13 years old, Mary. And he said unto him, Ye will surely say unto me this parable. Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have learned we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. Now, go take care of yourself. Will ya? Who are you, who are you preaching to me? You get people that come up to us on the street, you know. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. That's why a lot of ministers, God moves them. Because they will not be accepted. They know who you are. You have a reputation, and probably most of that reputation that you have where you live, you lived unsaved. If you got saved later on in life. That's why it's hard to deal with your family. Listen, your mom and dad knew you and all the trouble you got into. And all the things you did wrong. And you're going to, all of a sudden now, you, you turn a new leaf. Better let pray for someone else. Jesus said, pray that God may send people to the harvest. Pray that God will send workers to your family, but it most likely it will not be you. But I tell you the truth. Many widows were in Israel in the day of Elias, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months. And great famine was throughout all the land. That's in the Bible. So I think there's a end. I think that's end. First Kings 17. So Jesus backs up First Kings 17. But none, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto a Sarpita, Sarpita, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. Ooh, ooh, oh, that was a Gentile Jews. Man, he begins his first ministry at home. People reject him. Say, okay, fine. Remember that Gentile that God took care of? He just told his own people, guess what? I'm going to the Gentiles. Don't you think Jonah and Peter would have loved that message? And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elias, the prophet. And none of them were cleansed, saving Naaman, the Syrian. Uh oh, there's another Gentile. Boy, Jesus is preaching great messages to these people. He's, you know, if you were to change the story, he's preaching anti Americanism. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, me. And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these sayings, were filled with wrath. Now let's go back to verse 13 for a minute. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Verse 29. This is a season. And rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him into the brow of the hill wherein they, where the city was built that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. Satan tried to get his hometown to kill him. That's a season. Come on, Jesus, do, do something for yourself. Come on, Jesus, fall down and worship me. I'll give it to you all. Come on, Jesus, tempt God your father. All right, fine. Hometown, rah, 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 homecoming king. I want you to take Jesus from me. I want you to try to kill him. A brow is an edge of a steep place. They truly rejected Jesus Christ by getting rid of him. And came down to Capernaum 
the city of Galilee taught them on the Sabbath days, no the plural, and they were astonished at his doctrine, for he for this word was power. And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. Ooh, there's more than one. What have we more than one to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? Saying that the, the devil saying to Jesus, You have the power over us. There's only one that has that power. James 2 19 says, The devils fear God and tremble. Guess who they're fearing? Jesus. James 2 19, with this verse says that Jesus is God. Satan proclaimed it in, in verse number 12 and 13. Now his devils are proclaiming it in verse 34. Jesus is God. Only man would say he's not God. Devil and devils will say he's God. Man will not. How's that? Can you imagine the devils being called up to the great white throne judgment and saying, to the lost men at least we knew he was Jesus he was God at least we knew that art thou come to destroy us I know thee who thou art the Holy One of God the Messiah the devils believe more than what the Israelites believed in his hometown that's a remarkable statement and Jesus rebuked him saying hold thy peace come out of him and when the devil had thrown him in the mist he came out of him and hurt him not and they were all amazed and spank amongst themselves saying what a word is this for with authority and power he commanded unclean spirits and they came out and the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about country is Israel and he rose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. So already we know by Matthew and Mark, he's already had Simon, Andrew, Peter, and James and John. Luke doesn't tell us about that calling. Simon is Peter. Yes, oh uh, yeah. And Simon's wife's mother, oh nice poet, married to a woman and has got a mother-in-law. Blew that one in the Bible, didn't you? was taken with a great fever and they besought him for her Lord will you help and he stood over her and rebuked the fever you just picture that he yells at the fever and it left her it leaves and it means she rose and ministered unto them that's what the word minister is be careful how you use a title of a word that you don't do, the action thereof. I know many ministers, and they're not ministering. Now, when the sun was setting, six o'clock, getting late, all that they all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Well, I bet you Peter's wife wasn't wasn't too happy with this. The whole house, I believe Matthew says, was, was surrounded. So, kind of a way, Peter's house became the, really the first hospital. And they're bringing all kinds of sick people to it. By masters, by groves. By, and the devils also came out of many crying out and saying, Thou art the Christ, the Son of God. And they still rejected him. Don't you see with four chapters in Luke, just four chapters, we see that this is God. The nation knew who he was. They've got devils speaking about this man. And none of this stuff has happened before. Thou art the Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them, like he rebuked the fever, suffered them not to speak. He shut them up. 
for they knew that he was Christ. And when it was day, when it didn't just say as the sun was setting, he's doing this all night. It took all night for him to do that. It looks like Jesus did not sleep. He departed and went into a desert place. This is when he usually goes off and prays. And the people sought him and came unto him. He never had peace alone. And stayed him that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities. Kingdom of God, not the death, burial, and resurrection. For therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogue of Galilee. 